Right. So you want to think about what you want is your overall outcome to be. So like you can't just grab all your shoes or, a, you know, entryway or mud or think they're going to into everybody's closet if you haven't really made space. So you kind of have to prioritize where you need to start in order to get everything where it needs to go once you start to get to it. Absolutely. Ditch the cell phone. It is the biggest stealer of time in like every way, shape or form. And so if you leave that cell phone out of the room and dedicate even just 20 focused minutes in that area, you'll start to see progress just by doing that because you get distracted from the text messages and all the stuff coming through. And the next thing you know, you spent two hours in there and you've done two minutes worth of work. So when you just go in there and focus the time and keep music to keep your mind going and not be focused on what you're doing so much as like, oh, I'm in here doing this, this stinks. Large amounts of time, people really do get overwhelmed and they just start shuffling stuff. So if you do small bursts and then walk away and then pick back up where you leave off in that same area or same room, the next time you come in, you will so see like results right away. Yes, I am such a visual person. Like I always tell people I need to see it. Yeah, and so I just too. grabbed some post-its uh, and some little page markers. If you cut these in thirds and you just leave little post-its on the cabinets you've already gone through or a shelf you've done in your pantry or an area you've done when you come in, just put them all in the same spot. You'll see a little pink tab. So you like, you look at your kitchen cabinets and you see, you know, five or 10 of these, you're like, oh wow, I'm halfway through. So it kind of is like when you lose a pant size and you're like, oh, I can fit in those jeans I used to love. It's, it's a way to show you that you're making progress without having to open every cabinet or forget where you left. Correct. And every store I've gone in right now, I'm going to grab these really quick, is like Michael's and Joanne's first one, their plate and they're, all they have is storage. Like everything. So what you want to do is, this is like types of, of storage I have here, but they're rooms of my home and so you want to make a cohesive statement wherever it is you have a nice pantry you're going to put five different colored buckets bins and things in there because it's just going to look sloppy you want to put thought into what it is you need them for spices or chips or you know in your closet you need a shoe rack or whatever you don't want to just go buy stuff and organize just to use that stuff you want to use the stuff properly and to get the space that you need or that's going to make your life easier um, don't just buy it because it's cute 